When I'm doing a, a just taking a birding group, we'll go out and um, just look for birds because a lot of times they'll have at least a little bit of experience. I changed the title from Introduction to Birding to Everybody is a Birder because I can always ask somebody what their favorite bird is and they'll say typically it's um, Northern Cardinal. And when they say Northern Cardinal, I'll ask them what makes it a Cardinal. You know, it's red, it's got a crest, it's got a black face, it's got a long tail. Well, evidently you're a birder because now you can describe what they look like. This time of year, they're, they're nesting, they're guarding territory, um, they're getting ready to do that, so they get really, really vocal. I'm hearing Eastern Phoebe, there's a Northern Mockingbird, I just heard a brown-headed cowbird, there goes a flock of grackles, common grackles. I hear Carolina Wren, Blue Jay, even as soon as the sun comes up right before they start singing, we call that the dawn chorus because it gets really, really noisy. Even when I'm leading a bird walk out here, uh, even with new folks, I'll have to remember that, like we're hearing chickadees up here, I'll have to remember that there are people who would like to see a chickadee. Because I'm walking through just kind of filing some of the more common birds in the back of my brain is, okay, I heard that. Watch that rock there. But you gotta kind of pay attention because there's some people that would really like to see a chickadee. That's a great crested flycatcher. And it can be like old friends coming back to visit because you know, the great crested. Uh, I haven't been hearing it showed up a couple of weeks ago. You we kind of walk into the forest and hear, hear the first one of the season. It's like, hey, they're back. You know? <laughs> Howdy, how we doing? Doing great. We actually have about five or six different forest types in the park. We're going from a upland pine forest, sandier soils, drier areas, and we're moving down into this um, bottomland hardwood forest. Wetter soils, there's gonna be fewer pines, a lot more hardwood, um, and this is kind of an area that's great. It's sort of a bird nursery. They uh, have a lot of breeding birds in here. Uh, the grass in this area is uh, river cane, which is what looks like bamboo here. and. Uh, so it's just a whole different kind of habitat. And you know, we do have different species of birds that'll hang out here that won't end up in pine forest. And there's the woodpecker tree, this little dead oak up here has just been targeted by the uh, pileated woodpeckers. And the tree on the right side of the trail has been hammered by yellow-bellied sapsuckers. That's with the, all the little holes and lines. Sapsuckers are the ones that are the migratory woodpecker. They're here in the winter time. They've, they've all left by now. Oh, this is it. This is one of my favorite places in the park. Two favorite places are this little area here. This is kind of this trail where the um, river cane is up to the beaver pond. And then I like the uh, Blackjack Nature Trail because it's not woodlands, it's um, post oak savanna. So it's a different, whole different habitat. This is your 985 acre backyard. Uh, we have lots of trails. We have the lake um, for swimming and boating, fishing, uh, lots of stuff to do out here. Basically just come out and have an adventure.